everyone, Mike with M Audio here, and today I'm going to show you the new software preset editor for the M Audio code series of MIDI controllers. Now, of course, you can edit a lot of these functions right from the controller, but many people, including myself, uh, would much rather do it this way. It makes it especially easy to edit a lot of parameters quickly, either in one preset or across several. And since it's on your computer, you can theoretically store as many presets as you want uh, and not have them on the controller taking up space, so that's cool too. Now, this allows you to change almost anything. You can change the preset name that displays on the LCD, four separate zones on the keybed, and of course CC values for your faders, knobs, pads, buttons. You can change pretty much anything about the keyboard right here. All you need to do is click the parameter you want to edit. You'll see all of your options in the section down below here and when you're done you can send the preset to your code keyboard or save it to your computer for later use. To show you how it works I'm just going to create a basic preset and send it to the code 25. So first I'm going to name my preset. Let's call it Mike. We'll get real creative and let's assign something to one of these faders. So we have the pitch bend wheel, but maybe I want to control pitch bend with one of these faders. So click on the fader and select it to control pitch bend. And then I need to set a minimum and maximum value. I'm going to get kind of crazy. Let's do 0 to 127. And that'll give me a pitch bend uh, that covers a few octaves. Next, let's assign the button right below that fader. Now this can do uh, a few different things that the faders can't do. Uh, one of those things is sending HID commands, uh, which means you can actually program this to execute a keyboard shortcut. So if you want to have a hot key just to save your project or cut, copy, paste, you can put those right in these buttons here. So what I want to do is I want this to be able to save my project, which is a pretty universal shortcut across all the DAWs on my PC. So I want this to do Control S for save. I'm going to select S in the first dropdown and select control from the second and now when this is sent to the keyboard and I'm on this preset if I hit this button it will save my session if I'm in any normal DAW that uses those uh, those Windows shortcuts which is pretty cool finally I want to program some notes on the pads so click on any of the pads I want these to actually be MIDI notes so select notes and let's start at C1 in the bottom left here, which is MIDI note 24. Uh, and really quick, I'm going to go through the pads and assign them chromatically. And of course, you can also change the pad colors. You can click on color, and color 1 is going to be your standby pad color, just when the keyboard is sitting there and you're not pressing anything. And color 2 will be what you see when you actually press the pad. You can choose up to four colors depending on what you're programming the pads to do. So for instance, if you're setting them to cycle CC messages, you could have a different color for each value in the cycle. If you're just using them as MIDI notes, like I am, you only have two colors, standby and when you're pressing it. All I want these to do is trigger notes, so I'm just going to choose the first two colors. Now when you're done creating a preset, go up to File and you can either save it to your computer or you can send it right to the keyboard. I'm going to send it to my Code25. You're given the option to either send your preset to the controller's RAM, which makes it instantly available, but doesn't necessarily save it. You can't recall it later. Or you could permanently save it to any of the preset slots. So sending it to the preset RAM is cool because it lets you try out a preset you're working on before overwriting an existing preset. I do want to keep this on the keyboard though, so I'm going to save it to preset 1. And that's it. The preset's saved to my Code25 and it'll be there until I decide to replace it with something else. Uh, I've really only scratched the surface of what you can do with the code editor. There's all kinds of different options and configurations to really customize this for the experience that you want. But hopefully you have a general idea of how to use it and how you can get started editing presets for your code keyboard. This has been Mike with M Audio. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Until next time.